What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Juma Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, Familia? What is good, man? I just feel like, I don't know, lately, things are just, like, not interesting to me anymore or, like, exciting. I don't know about if you've been feeling this way lately, but, like, I'm kind of, like, trying to figure out, like, going into the new year, kind of, like, what I just want to bring on with me. And there's so many things lately that are just not fun anymore. I don't know if it's because I'm getting of age where it's, like, Things that are like were relevant are no longer relevant to me. For example, social media. Like I do not find social media pleasing at all anymore. I find myself clicking out of it so much more now. I'm like, do I need to get a flip phone? <laughs> Is it because it? like how it makes you feel or? No, I just feel like it's so boring. It's so boring. And if I honestly didn't have a place of like my creative page, which I have like for my makeup and then obviously our podcast and stuff, I probably would be fine without it. I did really, really well not being on social media for the years that I, I, I wasn't on social media. But I feel like now that we have, like, an internet presence, it's often key to have it. But, like, I agree with you, bro. I found no um, uh, nowhere in me found that, like, having an Instagram or a social media account, like, served me in any way other than, like, it being a big contest. Yeah. Because it kind of is. It's like you're popping shit. It's like your highlight reel of your life. And, like, it's the same type of stuff over and over. Same type of trends. Same type of algorithm pushing the same sort of stuff. And it's like... I think the tools need to get be better at also um, their, their algorithm. They're pushing out way too much of things we actually want to avoid. And it's like, I think, unsub like, subconsciously, when you look at something or you watch something, you relate it to something that's going into your life. And that one second that you give it that view, now it's auto-populating everything similar to that. And you're actually like, I don't want to pay attention to this. And it's the humanistic nature in me to go read the comments and stuff. Like, I can't help it. And so I'm finding myself, uh, remove myself from it more and more lately than ever because it's starting to disrupt my peace a little bit. And, like, I feel like it's a great space to be in and it's necessary for people like us who are content creators it is it's, it's a big part of the marketing aspect of it but for me like I was I recently went through my um like re uh posting like from 2012 was my first post and I like did a highlight of like 2012 2013 I posted reposted everything in those cases I think it was it was so nice to relive all that and repost it but um thinking that I've had the account since 2012 is like over 10 years. That's exhausting. <laughs> like I am so over it and I'm so overseeing everyone's life and I'm so overseeing everyone's like accomplishments or failures even. Like I just don't want to, sometimes I'm in people's business without even wanting to be in their business. Like I'm over myself at this point. You feel me? Like I just need a, I need a break. And, and with that, it's not just social media. Like go at, there's other things that don't interest me anymore. Like selfish people. I don't want to be about around self centered, selfish people. I don't want to be around negative Nancy's. Like there's just so many things that I'm starting to see, I think from a new aspect of life. And it's a beautiful thing. Cause I'm learning about myself, but I'm also like, I don't kind of want to be around this shit anymore. You know? I'm on the same page as you, bro. I feel like, you know what's crazy? When you brought this up in the preview when we were talking about it, I was trying to, like, think about stuff that I relate, like, I can relate to. And, like, honestly, the disinterest in, in a lot of things is there now. I don't know if it comes with age, but, like, for me, a big thing that I'm, like, not even interested in doing anymore is explaining myself. I don't want to do that. I don't want to argue anymore. I don't – and I, I, really, I don't really argue, but even then, like, if I have a strong case and I feel strongly about something – and someone else feels differently, right? Or we have a difference in opinion. Back then, I would want to explain myself, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, if that's how you feel, I completely get it. Like, I don't think I can help skew your mind differently or like change your mind. So like now I'm like, let me preserve this energy. Let me not give them this energy and just keep this for myself so I can be, uh, you know, sane. Bro, you know, that's so wild that you say that. So you know how there are, everyone's always saying things like protect your peace, protect your energy. Like, I don't want to give things my energy anymore. And, and, I, and I sometimes think when I'm like rejecting a situation or kindly declining, I'm like, is that bad of me? I, the old me wouldn't do this. Or like two years ago, the, the version of me who maybe had the time, bandwidth, capacity and space to do it would do it. And now I don't. Does that make me a bad person now that I maybe don't want to be around certain people or do what they're doing? Or is it just a matter of the fact that I am emotionally like energy wise not there anymore? I don't know. But I think it just has to do with yourself. Like you now want to put yourself and shift yourself towards things that make you happy. I find myself doing so many things just because it's a trend or other people are doing it. Even as simple as like 
meditation and yoga because it's like a new age movement thing and everyone's doing it. You're like, okay, let me get with the program, but you're doing it because other people are doing it. You're not doing it because that's what's bringing meditation to you. For me, meditating is driving and listening to music. I want to do more of that. I want to do more of reading books. I want to do more of nature walks 30 minutes a day to clear my mind and, and be presently there. I want to remove my phone two hours before bed so that my mind can actually go. I want to get eight hours of sleep at night. And I want to meet new people. I want to go on vacations. You know, I want to like have a new perspective of life so that I can grow. And I think that I'm burnt out, which is why I'm removing myself from all this. Like it drains you. It's like drainage, you know, like technology and like the ability that the power that people can have over you around like the control in the social media space. Like I do, I think it's just exhausting. I agree. I I'm feel, exhausted. I feel that. I feel You're that. right. It's like boring now. It's not even a matter of interest. I'm just, you. okay, boring. Another street fashion pick, another aesthetic. Like it's like good for you. Like been there, done that, over it. What's What else does life have to serve? I want to see new things. Do you think we're too connected? Yeah. Yeah. We are, bro. A lot of people. And it's hard to not be. Yeah. When you pick up your phone, you're, it's muscle memory. It's scrolling to the first app, the Instagram. It's scrolling to the TikTok. Like your thumbs just do it without even thinking about it. I'm on a plane. My phone doesn't even have surface and I'm cl- service and I'm clicking on it. And I'm not realizing it's on airplane mode, but it's just like what my phone, you know? Yeah. Or like, for example, like shopping apps. Like I don't want to shop anymore. I'm kind of over it. Like it's like boring because like you buy something and everybody else is buying the same thing. It's just like, I don't know if it's like the, the people I'm over or if it's the, the be, I mean, if it's the wave the, that everybody's on that I'm over, does it make sense? I'm just like not interested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like it makes sense. I, I think there's a lot of things to take away from that. Maybe it's just like people, you know, like there's a lot of voices and a lot of other, you know, players that we have in our lives, right? Like we have our family, our friends, and it's a lot of chatter and a lot. It's like this heavy feeling dealing with so many people all the time. And then imagine on social media, you're connected to thousands of people at your fingertips. So it's like along with your regular daily lives and the people that are around and not saying like they're a burden or anything. I'm just saying like, it's a lot of stuff happening, right? Everybody's in, you know, uh, and like going on social media and you see uh, all thousands of people and you're just connected instantly. You see their failures, you see their good stuff, you see the bad stuff, you see the same stuff. Like, I, I don't know. It's a lot. And for me, you know, I've also become the type of person to like, I've always wanted to help people and propel people to new heights. And like, I felt like if I had something good, I wanted to share that and make sure that you're doing the same thing be, so you can reap the same reward and benefits. But I've started to realize that's so draining, bro, because people are going to do what people are going to do. Sometimes there's no changing them. Sometimes they're just the way they are. And I'm like disinterested in trying to change people now, bro, for the better, you know? Um, in my point of view, when I'm like looking at certain situations of the people that I love, if I'm doing something that's helping me, it's a supplement to me and I'm, you know, I need this person to understand where I'm coming from. In the past, I would like, you know, try to like grab hold of them and be like, hey, bro, like you shouldn't do this. Like it's bad for you. Now I'm just like, hey, if that's what you want to do, I'm going to, you know, state my piece and then I'm going to let it be. And then you can take whatever information I'm giving you and and, and let it run its course. It, it's something when we were, out, we were out in Arizona happened and I wanted to like tell this person, like, hey, don't do that, bro. Like, and they went and did it and it didn't end up like being good for them. But it was like in the past that would kill me because I would like, you know, grab like, you know, have you ever played like tug of war? And like, yes. you know, at one point it's going to constrict the rope is going to constrict your army. You're going to get hurt. Mm-hmm. It's better to just let that rope go. Mm-hmm. And then like, you know, for you a pain, Hundred like, percent. you know, I, I don't know if I made sense. No, no, that did. Because now that I think about it, something else I'm not interested in, in anymore are people's problems. Um, naturally being who I am, being who you are, how we were raised, we've, you know, are conditioned to make people's problems, our problems. And by people, I mean, our loved ones or, you know, significant other, our, the closest, our friends, people to us. And I've learned that there's a way to still be there and not, um, let their, their problems project onto your life. And that's what I want to stop doing because it's just draining me as a person. And it doesn't say anything less about how I feel about them. It just simply means that your problems are your problems and you're an adult and you got yourself there. You're an adult and you'll get yourself out of there. I'm just here. I'm here to support. I want to do more things on my own. I want to be alone more. And, and I am alone a lot of the times, but I want to, um, get in tune with myself more. I want to be less in tune with people 
in the best way possible. Like that's impossible. Obviously we can't avoid people. We can't avoid our families. I can't avoid work. I talk to people all day, but I also want to know when to shut it off. And so I'm not interested in just letting my days go on anymore. I'm, I want to have an establishment for myself to have a shutdown date time date and time at every point of every day where it's now like my time, which means away from my phone, away from the computer, like away from the TV. Like I, you ever sit down for hours and you're just like, I just watched eight episodes back to back and the Netflix is asking me if I'm still there. Like that's a problem. Like, you know, what have you done in the last eight hours? Like I want to just be able to be more present and kind of like get back to like, you know the boonies before all of this new wave existed and feel like how what it's like to like not be a part of like everything I do I need to photograph or everything I do I need to make sure that everyone else knows I'm doing you know and it's fine we all were there and we're all still there I'm there I have a personal page which I haven't been really on lately as well because even that I was like I did this from just my friends and then I went public and then I had to remove everybody went private again and haven't posted since and been over it like just because like I was like, I made this to just kind of remove myself from all that. And here I am doing it again, now creating a new aesthetic, which I love, but like consuming me again, you know. So I don't know. When I went on vacation in Milan, um, that was probably the best thing I've some done. Player, that was some player shit you just said. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? When I went to a vacation in Milan, yeah. like, that was player. The most last minute thing. But I want more moments like that. I want more last minute book Milan, like let's go. Shout out to Brat and Maury, my sister, um, because I had gone somewhere new. I saw new things. I felt new energy. I met new people. And that's the wave I'm on. I was just going to ask you, do you think there's maybe a little bit of disinterest into your the same surroundings, the same people, the same people you're talking to, the same environment, the same city you're going back to? Yeah, the same 100%. Person you're you know why? Because we're right? all on the same wave and we're doing the same shit. That's what I, because I thought about that, right? And I thought about when we were in vacation in Arizona, I, I, I thought about like, we're in a new setting, a new environment, new people, new faces, and it felt really good, bro. Like, I went there, and I was like, dude, like, I could totally just, like, like start all over again and, like, yeah. pull up and, like, enjoy my life here, you know, and bring some people that want to come with me, you know, with me. But, like, um, every time I travel somewhere, I hate traveling, by the way, with the plane stuff, but when I get to the destination, I love it. You feel me? It's so like, like that. It's hate always the like that. part is the worst part. I hate that shit, bro. Yeah. Were your ears fine? My ears are fine, thank, thank God. God. <laughs> and like, like when you get to that destination, you see new surroundings and you see this environment. It's so new and interesting. And what what's very interesting also is like, as much as it's interesting to us, like say you and I go to New York, right? For us, like, it's like, oh my God, this is New York, right? But like for the people that are in New York, they want to escape their current reality and surroundings. And they want to come like Cali or like Nevada SF, or like yeah. SF or shit. And like, we're doing the same thing. So I think like over time we have this thing and in, in, it happens in like relationships too. You know how you have like that puppy dog phase where like you're so in Honeymoon love with each other. Even, yeah. yeah and, and it's clinically proven where the dopi dopamine levels are high um, in this beginning couple years or whatever. And then they slowly start to dissipate that's not saying that you don't love this person anymore. It's just chemically how we are. So I feel like when we're in certain surroundings for so long doing the same thing, the same routine, as much as I love my routine, I love my routine, right? Sometimes it's our body and our mind telling us like, yo, you're craving something different. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when you get a taste of that different, you're constantly going to want more of it. And it makes you happy to come back to your home. When I was gone for like three weeks straight, I came back home and I was like, ah, oh, my home. I want to be here now. I don't want to go anywhere for a few months. And then you appreciate your routine. I love my routine. I would, I don't want to change my routine ever. I think it's great. But I also know that in order for me to survive, I need new fuel. I need new, like... I need new memories. I need new people. I need new energy, new perspective. I love everyone I'm around, but I, I, I want to learn from people. And I miss that. Like I, that's the one thing I love about meeting strangers. It's not like, Oh, you're a cool person. It's like, what can I learn from you? What can you learn from me? Like, who are shit. you? Bro? Like, because we're all so different. Like, bro, you can learn so much from people. And I, that's why I love people like talking to people, meeting new people, and then like learning about, Oh, you're skilled in this area. What is that like? You know? And that's why I miss so much of being in the office, working in the office. I think the remote life, the pa pandemic life was a good break for us all, but it's time to kind of step back into the real world. I feel like, and, and get back into that new forms of energy environments. And, and that's what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in the same shit anymore. I think disinterest is very, very natural. I feel like um, it's something, it's a sign of growth. 
I think so, and I think it's necessary for growth as well. I agree. Wild. Where can they find us, Niels? Not in 2022. You can find me on a new wave in 2023, God willing. YouTube.com slash The Dima Podcast. Until next time. TDP. We out. We out.